Now we have interview with Minister of Environment and Fishery and Sustainable Development from Chad. Welcome to our program, Zuma Africa. Thank you. Uh, so you are here in Kinshasa. Yes. As the head of delegation from Chad. Yes. To participate with the pre-COP. Exactly. Uh, so what's the role of Chad to be a part of pre-COP? Yeah, Chad is, uh, is, Chad is playing a big role. Uh, to regulate the uh, world temperature. Yeah. As you see, we have a lecture, but uh, we're playing the role to protect the uh, tropical forest. Yeah. And the tropical forest is the second after the Amazonia to uh, regulate or to regulate the world uh, temperature. Yeah. And Chad is the door, the desert. Everything is coming from Ch from Chad to the tropical forest. So yeah. we're playing an important role because when you have uh, gold and you have diamond in your house, you gotta make sure that you have, your door is uh, very, uh, it's locked. Yes. You know what I mean? So that's, Chad is playing that role and yeah. we are very happy uh, to be here in this pre cup. Yeah. And it's an African cup. And again, we have a strong relationship with uh, Egypt. Yeah. So whenever Egypt goes, Chad has to go behind oh, Egypt wow. and stand up with Egypt. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Yes. So uh, if we're talking about the relationship between the two countries, yes. Egypt and Chad. Yes. Yeah, it's a long relationship. It's not just a relationship. It's a friendship relationship, but it's a more uh, brotherhood relationship. Uh, very strong. We have uh, so many uh, today uh, responsible uh, people and Chad administrations that uh, they came out from uh, 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 international and well-recognized uh, universities yeah. in uh, Egypt. And uh, we have so many big community, Chadian community in, uh, in, in, in Al-Qahir and Egypt and in al And uh, yeah, it's like, uh, and we have a, the border, Chad doesn't have a border with Egypt, but the border uh, the, Egypt, the Egyptian border is only 40 kilometers to Chad. Oh, yeah. So we are very close. Yes. And uh, we have almost like uh, three times a week, we have uh, uh, Egypt Air is coming and oh, going. Oh, that, that's and fantastic. And we have very strong economic uh, relationship with, uh, with the Egypt. So it's like, uh, I can say it, uh, it's kind of hard to describe because it's more like, when I'm in Egypt, I feel like I'm an Egyptian. And when uh, when we when we see uh, Egypt with uh, so many uh, country, uh, so many uh, companies yes. uh, working in Chad, and I can take one example, like um, Arab contractors, uh, they're yes. building uh, yeah, yeah. roads, they're building uh, uh, infrastructure, houses. Yeah. So when I see them, I see like the Chadian people. There's oh, no difference wow. between Chad and, uh, and Egypt, honestly. <laughs> yeah, great. Yes. Uh, so going to COP27, yes. it will be next month, inshallah, yeah. in Charm el-Sheikh. Yes. So you would be part of the, the, the head of the delegation for yes, the COP. Yes, of course. Yeah. This is an African COP, so it's, it's kind of different uh, to us. We have to stand up with uh, Egypt, yeah. that, uh, and we are very proud. And uh, Egypt is a big uh, country, like yeah. we, we used to say it in Chad, Masar uh, Ummah Dunya, oh, so wow. which is uh, Egypt is uh, advanced country and can uh, handle all this. But uh, when you go to the battle, uh, if you have your brother and sister behind you, it's always better. Yes, exactly. So that's exactly. why we think this is an African Cup, and we gotta be stick together, work together, and look at the same direction with Egypt together. Yeah, uh, as a minister of environment, mm. uh, how's your opinion to fight? Again, it's that climate change. Uh, honestly, uh, the the fighting against uh, the climate change, as we can see, we are not asking for the developed country to give us, and it's not right because the money they are giving is the money of their uh, people, of their contribute people, like yeah. what they, the taxes of their people. Yeah. No, we are not. We are not asking that. We are asking for the developed country to pay for what we are supporting and what we are doing for them. Yeah. If you get someone today uh, in America or in, uh, in Europe or in Canada or anywhere, yeah. uh, and that person or that citizen has 
the right temperature to live in this planet is because of Africa. Yes. So what Africa is going to get from that? Because we are playing an important role, like I said now, uh, in terms of uh, regulating the temperature, in terms of responding to uh, the climate change by the natural resources that we have. But what we are we going to benefit from that? Yes. You know what I mean? We, we provide you service. Yes, exactly. We provide you, when you yeah, provide yeah. service, you have to get paid. Yeah. So we are providing something, you know, for the rest of the world. But what are Africa is going to get? Uh, yes, That's exactly. The That's exactly. why we ask them to stand up we are for Africa. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they have to uh, respect their commitments. Yes. So we can uh, build uh, we can fight against this uh, climate change yeah. and at the same time leave a planet to the next generation that everybody can be happy and live in it. Yes, exactly. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for your time. Right, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you again.